Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the original Nova series that came out in 1976, written by Marv Wolfman and uh, illustrated by John and Sal Buscema. Uh, we're going to talk about the four, first four issues of this uh, really awesome series. I had a lot of fun reading these issues. School 70s comics are always a blast to read. And uh, in this case, the feeling that you get immediately with um, the first couple of issues of Nova is like they're trying to bring to a new generation of kids in the 70s uh, their Spider-Man. Like you get the feeling of this teenage hero that is sort of down on his luck. He's sort of a loser, even though he's a really good guy. He gets chosen by one of these Nova Centurions who's dying after he, I think he was in a battle with a with, with a villain, his name is Bombshell. Yes. He's chosen as the new host for, or to become a new member of the Nova Corps. So, this young teen gets zapped, goes to the hospital. After getting out of the hospital, he discovers he has crazy new powers. I always loved the character design of Nova. And I always had a soft spot for this character. And it's always... I always thought to myself that it's probably because uh, because of his look and his the way he flies. He's a human rocket. Because one of the first movies, this is the relationship in my brain, what I think, why, why I like this character. Because the first movie I ever went to uh, was actually The Rocketeer. And I that, oh, that movie, just I remember it just really blowing me away. It made a real big impression on me as a really young kid and uh, I always established sort of like an association between the Rocketeer and Nova and so that's at least for me that's why I really like this character or that's why I feel an inclination to think this guy's a real badass so in the first issue he comes across this alien his name is Bombshell he, he has some bone to pick with the Nova Corps like I don't know much about the Nova mythos in general like I didn't read this whole run so he has his first battle with this bombshell dude. He's barely able to get out of it alive. The villain, he doesn't even defeat the villain. The villain sort of just tires of the battle and leaves. I'm not aware if this bombshell character is like a first original villain from this series because I think he mentions at one point, because I read this about a month ago, so my memory's sort of shoddy, uh, if that he crossed paths with the Fantastic Four or something like that. I'm not sure. But in the next issue, we're going to get two original villains for Nova Condor this really weird black guy <laughs> with Condor powers and this guy called Powerhouse who can train other people's powers and reuse them Condor is just a really weird <laughs> character especially like I've never seen him uh outside of this conk I maybe he popped up as one of those a throwaway villain in a story arc and stuff something like that but outside of this I've never seen this guy um, he has some this really some weird machinery, and he he's afraid. There's like a villain above him, he's which he's really afraid of, and uh, he does his doing and his dirty work. And he's working with this guy, Powerhouse, who he rescued from a boat. His, his power seemed to have flared up, and he absorbed the life force of everyone on the boat. And um, so he reluctantly starts helping Condor in his life of crime, stealing stuff from museums. And obviously in the story, they're going to cross paths with Nova. The battle is pretty, pretty hilarious in general. It's like a lot of fun. The funny thing is that in the battle with Nova and Powerhouse, they destroy our artifact that Condor wants. So Condor sort of gets pissed off and he abandons his teammate <laughs> to, to resolve his situation with Nova. He's like, okay, you fucked up there. I'm going to leave. So... <laughs> Issue number three, we have Nova going up against another original villain. His name is Diamond Head. Also, this Diamond Head seems to be in cahoots with the same evil overlord bad guy, who I don't know who he is. He's virtually an indestructible ki a criminal, but he's just a, like a common thief. Like being like made out of diamonds, uh, I, I only can imagine the ki kinds of things you can do instead of just going and robbing a bank. It's even more profitable just, profitable just to cut off a little bit of your finger and <laughs> selling that. 
So, again, Nova crosses paths with Diamond Head. They get into a battle. At the end of the battle, again, we don't get actually a clear victory for Nova. Like, <laughs> uh, Diamond has, Head has sort of an accident and he escapes. So, like, in, in three issues, the main hero doesn't get a clear victory over any villain. <laughs> Sorry, he does. He does pull one over uh, over Powerhouse, but Condor does get away. But in issue number four, this is actually a pretty good issue. We have sort of like the classic superhero misunderstanding, which leads into the battle between Thor and Nova. But there's the aggregate that Thor is being controlled. He's being mind controlled by a new villain. I think this is Corruptor's first appearance, so I think he's an original villain to Nova. And he's more interesting in this issue than in other issues where I've seen him way down the line. Because here he's sort of like a monster, it's like an evil blue troll. In other issues, i just seen him just like as a second-rate purple man. And uh, in this issue, he corrupts Thor's mind. He sets him on a rampage in the city, cross paths with Nova. They battle it out. Thor is able to come out of his mind controlled situation they team up to take down the corruptor but and the corruptor's costume is just hideous it's the one of the most ugly costumes and it's really weird he uses the destroyer costume that second world war hero they use that for some reason so in a pretty good battle final battle against the corruptor like corruptor is able to escape and he starts putting normal people against our heroes and uh, so they have to deal with the fact that they might really have to hurt normal people. Uh, but they're able to stop the corrupt, corruptor, capture him. And um, that's it for this video. It's the first four issues. I didn't read this whole run, obviously. As I said before, I don't know much about Nova's mythos. But I always had a soft spot for this character. Outside of the Rocketeer is also New Warriors was one of the first comic books I ever start, started collecting. And uh, I really like Nova there too. So, hope you guys like this video and see you guys next time. Bye.